How's it going YouTube? Dave here from SignalWarrant.com. So today I'm going to show you how I do a little bit of housekeeping in Active Directory to uh, minimize the number of what I consider to be stale computer objects in my Active Directory. So what I would consider to be stale, for instance, would be any computer account that hasn't authenticated to the domain in, say, 30 days. So what's the inherent issue with something that hasn't been running on the network for 30 days? It's not pulling group policy, it's not getting patched, et cetera, et cetera. So if a user has a computer they put on the domain, maybe they use it a couple times, they take it off the network, they put it in a file cabinet or whatever, and it sits there for X number of days. Before I want that machine back on my network, I want to make sure that it has got the latest antivirus uh, stuff on it, it's getting the latest patches on it, it's pulled the latest group policy, all that stuff. So this is a method I use to do that. So you'll see here in my Active Directory I have what six yep six computer objects. These two have actually authenticated to the domain. These four uh, have not. They're not actually domain added computers. They're just uh, computer objects. So what we're going to do is look through Active Directory. We're going to see what the last date these two have authenticated. If it's within our uh, threshold, we're going to disable these accounts and we're going to move them to this disabled computers OU. Uh, so we get them out of our typical uh, production OU, move them to a separate location where only admins have access to so we can deliberately uh, patch those things and get them back on the domain. So here's the script that I used to do that. It's pretty simple few variables here that you're going to want to set so the date will just get the date you want to set the number of days so for this demonstration purposes I have one because I just added these computers a couple days ago so they've authenticated recently but in a real production environment maybe you want to set this to 30 so you go back 30 days anything that hasn't authenticated within those 30 days will be disabled and moved to the OU so I always put a description on these things, so if you have other administrators on your domain, they know why that computer was moved to that disabled OU, they know who did it, they know what date it was done, etc. This is the OU I'm going to look in. Now maybe if you don't have a huge environment, you can look just through the whole uh, domain, but you probably want to, if you have a lot of ob uh, computer objects in your Active Directory, you want to probably break it up into separate OUs, what you're searching at a time. So here's the OU I'm going to move all the disabled accounts to. So every admin in my environment will know if a computer gets disabled, it's going in this disabled underscore computers OU. I'm also going to create a log file in C scripts that basically just has all the computer information for these disabled machines. So I can run this script, I create a log file, I can set it out somewhere on a share or on a SharePoint portal or whatever so all my other administrators uh, know what's going on and know what got disabled today. So here's how we're actually going to do or run the script. So the first thing we're going to do is find all the stale computers. So we're going to use the get80 commandlet. We're going to search through our search base OU we're going to look for the name of the object and the last login date. And we're going to further pare that down where the last login date is less than or equal to this number of days that we set up here. We also want to put this AND statement in here for so you don't also pull computer objects that are null. So what are computer objects that have a last login date of null? typically computer objects that have yet to join the domain so you don't obviously want to don't want to disable those at this point so the next step here we're going to create a log file then we're going to take the results or the uh, objects from our get ad computer commandlet and we're going to set the description and we're also going to disable those accounts so once we have disabled those accounts, we're going to search that OU for anything that is disabled, 
any computer account that's disabled. And then we're going to move them to that disabled OU, OU, if that makes any sense. So, show you here what it looks like in action. So our script ran, let's take a look at our log file. And there are the two machines that we disabled. And there are the last login dates. So anything past a day old that didn't authenticate in the last day, which those are our two and three days, we disabled. So let's take a look at Active Directory. So let's refresh the computer's OU. And you see those two machines are gone. Refresh disable computers, and there they are. And you can see the description. Disabled by me on today due to inactivity. So that's pretty much it. It's just one method I use to keep uh, Active Directory clean and orderly, I guess. If you have any questions, uh, hit me down in the comments. I appreciate you watching. Hey, thanks for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can contact me at the social media links listed there. And until the next time.